This is Hillary Kramer with Wall Street Reporter Television. We are live from the American Stock Exchange. I'm here today with Patrick Lundstrom, Chief Executive Officer of Obdicat Corporation. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you very much. Patrick, Obdicat develops and sells lithography solutions for production and replication of advanced micro and nano structures. Where does your company stand uh, in terms of the, the landscape of that, of that sector and who are you serving? We have a position in the market right now where we are the biggest uh, non-imprint lithography supplier in the mm -hmm. world. Uh, we have a number of systems installed uh, both in R&D as well as in commercial development within companies such as TDK, uh, GE Plastics, uh, we have uh, Samsung uh, and we have Fujitsu, a long range of uh, world leading companies within their respective fields. So it's both retailers and original electronic manufacturers that you're serving? Yeah, much of what we do is actually uh, we are enhancing the capabilities of our customers to develop new uh, consumer electronic uh, products. Can you tell me more about these products and, for example, how do they enhance their ability and their functioning and where does your nanotechnology come in to improve um, these companies' products? Well, uh, if you take a mobile phone, for instance, uh, you have a storage capacity today in the, or you have a capacity to store data in a memory stick. But in the future, uh, you will have an integrated hard drive in order to have even bigger storage capacity at a lower price. So in order to be able to increase, although the storage capacity in a hard drive uh, from where you are today, uh, they need to go to a different uh, type of uh, technology. And they need our uh, technology to um, enable that development. I understand. Now, Opticat is making incredible headway in terms of new research and development for new products. Can you tell us more about what's coming down the pike and what the future holds? I mean, much of uh, the work that we do together with our customers is aimed at making uh, products cheaper uh, to produce. Mm -hmm. If you take an LCD TV, for instance, uh, still the penetration level is relatively small in the industry compared to the old type of uh, TV sets. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because uh, the production costs cannot be uh, minimized from where we are today, not so much further. So they need to go to a disruptive uh, manufacturing technology, and that's what we have. Now, lithography for semiconductors is a $5 billion market, I yep. understand. How much bigger can it grow, and what are you trying to do in terms of taking a leadership role in that? Well, with the lithography technique being used today in the industry, uh, they, they, the cost implications of using that when you produce electronics makes it impossible to use in certain type of applications where you have much lower value in the end product. And uh, due to that fact, uh, it's not applicable. Uh, with our technology, it's possible to go to uh, the simple throwaway and polymer electronics or plastic electronics, where you basically, out of a plastic sheet, create uh, functional electronic units. But you must use a cheap manufacturing method to be able to do that. And that's what we offer. And this, uh, through this, we will grow the entire lithography market by introducing non-imprint lithography. I understand. So in terms of location and geography, now you are truly global. Mm. I'd love for you to address where you're manufacturing today, where you're doing research and development, and where on the other side your key clients are regionally. Well, we have two operations today. We have our headquarters in, based in Sweden, and uh, we have also a wholly owned subsidiary in uh, Cambridge in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, our customers, uh, or let's say the customer base today, is actually quite evenly spread. Uh, one third in the US, one third in Europe, and one third in Asia. But if we look down the road, it's definitely so that we expect to have a majority of uh, our uh, sales in Asia because that's the manufacturing region. Ah. Uh, even though that the U.S. will actually uh, most likely also be a big market, uh, down the road Asia is definitely uh, the target market. Okay, so you're spending many days on the road. <laughs> uh, very many days, yes. Okay, and in terms of your patents, you have over 300 patents, dozens of inventions. Mm -hmm. Which of those patents holds the key in terms of the most revenue driving for the, for the future and for today as well? And is there anything else that we should be expecting that you have in the pipeline for patent? Well, uh, why we have two parts then basically that we pursue. One is the equipment part and one is the process that you utilize in that equipment. So we have important uh, patents and inventions with regards to the mechanical parts in the machine mm -hmm. and how that works. 
and there we have already granted patents and uh, when it comes to the process uh, you actually utilize and there's a key really key to be able to get a uh, high volume manufacturing uh, process in place and that's where we have some very interesting patents filed uh, just recently the last 12 months okay so really for increased productivity and higher volume production yes, yes. okay you have six million dollars on the balance sheet you're fine in terms of your funding position at this moment, but going forward, where do you expect to receive your funding? What are you doing in terms of tapping the capital markets and what does the future hold? Because it also has to do with the sector that you're in as well. Mm -hmm. Well, we see that there is a path where we can continue with the capital that we have, but we also expect that there may be situations coming up during the next uh, one or two years where we may have to increase our financial uh, strength uh, and that could be due to consolidation um, issues in the industry so uh, we, we are uh, we are not right now preparing to, to do something uh, strategically but uh, we never know what can come okay. down the road. Okay, now last question. I am a technology junkie. Where can I expect to see your products in an actual consumer product itself? Well, I think that you can uh, see it uh, within the one to two year time perspective in mobile phones. Uh, okay. You will be able to see it in, uh, you won't see it actually, it's embedded in the, the sure. electronic <laughs> things that you buy in the store, but Blu-ray uh, Blu type of uh, players uh, that will have uh, Obrocat technology embedded in it. So. Okay, well Patrick, we wish you well and thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.